Hi everyone, I'm Gerry Taylor. I'm the Director of Public Health for Sunderland. And this week I'm joined by Dr. Fadi Khalil, who is the GP lead for vaccinations in Sunderland. Um, we hope to be able to answer some of the common questions residents have about the COVID-19 vaccine programme. The vaccine is safe. As, as with any medicine, vaccines are highly regulated products and are extensively tested before they are rolled out in the community. Trials and safety checks for these vaccines are the same as, you, as they would be for any other vaccines. The NHS wouldn't offer any um, COVID-19 vaccine to the public unless expert and independent eyes had signed it off that it is safe to, for use. The official UK regulator ha has said that these vaccines are safe and highly effective and there are checks at every single stage in development and manufacturing process and continuing monitoring once the vaccine has been authorised to make sure that it is appropriate to be used in the wider population. Hello everyone, um, I'm Dr Fadi Khalil as Jerry has said. I'm the GP and clinical lead for the COVID vaccination program. Regarding side effects, um, the side effects are what you would commonly expect with most vaccinations. General practice are very accustomed to giving vaccines and we normally find it's either a sore arm, feeling a bit tired, a bit achy, maybe a headache or a mild flu-like illness. We have vaccinated over 85,000 people so far um, and most side effects have been very common, very mild and people got over it within a day or so. If people do feel a bit unwell with those with side effects such as achy arms or a bit of a headache, then just simple measures such as paracetamols or a bit of rest should be enough. We're also advising the public if they do get side effects, they can report it to the um, um, national team via the yellow card scheme, which is in all the patient leaflets that they are given at the sites. Um, oh yes, that's a very common question we get asked. Um, there is no animal or human products in the vaccines and therefore it is uh, vegan, vegetarian, halal and kosher. Um, so, and there is no eggs as well, no dairy products, etc. So it's absolutely fine from that perspective. Absolutely, they should get vaccinated. There's no evidence of any safety concerns from vaccinating people with a past history of COVID-19 infection or with detectable COVID-19 antibodies. So people who have had COVID-19, whether they confirmed or suspected, should still receive the vaccine. However, if you do currently have symptoms or have, have a positive test for COVID, you need to wait until you're better. Thank you. That is a common question we get asked at the vaccination sites. Pregnant women can indeed receive the vaccine if they're at higher risk from complications of COVID or at higher risk of contracting COVID. Um, it's a discussion that they need to have with their clinician to determine the risk and they need to inform the vaccination sites that they are pregnant because they might need a slightly different approach to how we vaccinate them as they need an authorization. But yes, by all means, it is, it is not a contraindication to having the vaccine if you are pregnant. There is clear guidance on the Royal College of Obstetrician uh, if anybody wants to have a look. Um, and again, as, as I mentioned previously, the guidance also relates to fertility questions. And again, there's no evidence whatsoever that affects fertility in both men and women. Most people who contract the COVID-19 uh, disease will develop antibodies, the spike protein, and there's no evidence of fertility problems after COVID-19 disease. And again, further information is available on the NHS website or the Royal College of Obstetricians. And there's also the Royal Society of Fertility guidance. This is, this is a really important question and, and a good question. It's really important that whether you've had the first or both doses of the vaccine, that you still follow all of the national guidance around staying at home, hands, face and space. 
there's really good growing evidence that the vaccines are highly effective at preventing people from becoming seriously ill. And the early data looks pretty promising in terms of the vaccine's ability to reduce transmission. But really, in order to protect ourselves and others, we should all continue to still follow all of the guidance at the moment. So again, staying at home unless you need to go out for one of the essential reasons, such as um, you can't work from home or essential shopping and following hands, face and space if you do have to go out. These vaccines have been um, thoroughly um, tested and reviewed and they are highly effective. We do see some effectiveness just from the first dose. But I, I guess I'd like to really emphasise the importance of having both of your doses. So if you've had your first dose and invited are invited back for your second dose, it's really important that you take up the offer of the second dose as well. Having both doses will really produce the full protection that you need. And that will kick in after a couple of weeks after the second dose. So again, really important that if you're invited, please come and take up your offer of the second dose and get booked in as soon as you can. Just to add to what Jerry had just said, my plea is please, please do take up the offer of the second dose. We have just started calling the patients back for the second dose for those who have, had been, who have been vaccinated back around Christmas time. So please do not just assume you are protected by a single dose. You need to have both completed. Thanks very much, um, Fadi. I think that was really helpful and I hope that we've answered some of your questions around the vaccine programme. If you do have any other questions, then you can send them to the email address on the screen and we will look to do a follow-up video to pick up those questions. And just a reminder as usual that the latest information around vaccines and other information in relation to the pandemic is available on the council's website sunderland.gov.uk forward slash coronavirus. Thank you very much for listening and again thank you very much to Fadi for helping with the questions.